Hello guys, in today's video we're going to see how to protect routes in ReactJS. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start protecting our routes. So here I have a structure that I used in the previous video. Uh, so you, uh, if you haven't watched that one, you can stop this one and just go there. I'll put link uh, below and you can watch it or download the, the project from GitHub. Uh, the link will be also in the description of the previous video. So uh, I have this structure from the previous video, as I, uh, as I said. And here, uh, what we have to do, we have to somehow protect these routes that we created in the previous video. So uh, one thing that I, I'll just uh, fix from the previous uh, video is just uh, I'll use routes from React Router DOM just that import, everything stays the same. Okay, and now as this is a clone of the previous video, I'm just gonna in the package JSON change the name of the project. Protecting routes, routes in React.js, so okay, in React. Uh, right now, uh, what we have to do, uh, I have used uh, in the previous video uh, this uh, configuration from uh, React Router DOM uh, version 6. So uh, I've used the uh, approach to have uh, object-based routing here as I like that one uh, because uh, it provides me uh, ability to uh, just write objects uh, and uh, in a more uh, JS way than just uh, adding uh, routes uh, in HTML or, or actually uh, JS6 or JS6. Uh, depends what you use. So uh, I'll just show you that one here. Okay, uh, this is one. This is the one from React Router. And I've used the use router uh, hook. And this is the configuration here. So uh, I will, I'll go back to our project. Let me find it. Okay, sorry. Uh, here, now what we have to do, uh, we have somehow to protect uh, these routes. Uh, to be inaccessible to users uh, without the role or uh, who are not uh, uh, logged in in our application. So the approach I'm using right now here and one of the ways is uh, I'm gonna create uh, another component and I'll name that, uh, I'll, I'll just place it in routes here and name it uh, private route or protected route. I can just call it route. That. So, okay, uh, this is a new component and I just have to say, okay, const protected, protected route and do the following and, and export default protected route and that's it. And right now, uh, we have to do the things. So as I uh, created as I created this uh, uh, this component here, I have to add that component here and to wrap wrap it around anything here. So for example, uh, we're gonna uh, wrap uh, wrap this uh, about component with this private route. So. Private route. I have to import it, but oh, sorry, I just protected it out. Protected out. Okay, this is it, and I just have to add about here, and don't forget these brackets here. Okay, and this is our route, our uh, component uh, wrapped uh, in this protected route. So this is first step. Uh, now. I have to uh, start this by typing npm npm start and we're waiting uh, for our compiler to build the application and run it in our browser. So it should be right now. Okay. And now uh, we have that project from the previous video. Let it just load. Okay. Now we have home about, 
and now we have to configure this about we have a contact from the previous video okay uh we we are going to uh, protect this about route for the sake of this uh, tutorial and to do that we're going here and now in this protected route we're going to add some uh, properties to this uh, component so i'll add a curly bracket here and add expected expected roles and children so what are we actually doing right now here uh, here i'll uh, just uh, somehow check uh, these routes as i want to uh, uh, say that uh, some users with the uh, specific roles are able to uh, check this about page so uh, this uh, this uh, that's the reason I'm adding here expected roles and children is gonna be our component here okay so uh, we're continuing working here and uh, this uh, this component is also uh, going to check the following thing uh, if user is authorized or not actually with this or is it uh, logged in to our system or not so uh, I'm not providing anything here in this component expect uh, this uh, expected roles except this expected role sorry and uh, we're just uh, having that thing here so what I have to do I'll say expected roles and we'll say we'll provide an array, array of roles as uh, a user can have uh, multiple roles on the system let's say that and we can say just editor or uh, best practices or practice practices that I follow I'll just in the configuration somewhere here or uh, in this uh, let's arouse now I'll just uh, create a constant here new file arrow. or just constant.js and here in this constant.js I'll say export uh, ra roles user roles an object and I'll give a sorry const I'll give it uh, some uh, roles that the user can have so just uh, uh, to have to be sure that we are uh, matching the specific roles and not mismatching uh, or uh, making typos in, while doing, adding uh, these uh, roles here so uh, expected roles let's say uh, editor 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 admin let's say guest and so on and so on depends what you want to have here okay and right now here I'm just gonna use these uh, user role user roles user roles that let's say admin so let's say admin can I uh, can access this about us page so we just have to uh, in this expected roles property provide uh, admin or any other roles and that's it for uh, this uh, for this config here right now we're going to our protected route and here uh, as we can check is user authorized or actually uh, uh, does user have uh, roles that are expected uh, for this component if you can uh, check me okay so uh, instead of checking these things that you will create your own logic or get them from the local storage or, or uh, JVT decode or server depends on your logic uh, I'll just add a constant here and say is authorized and say true right now and also uh, I'll just check our rules uh, here uh, required so this is also gonna work if we do not uh, require any roles here so const let's say r required equals and right now uh, we're gonna check uh, this uh, array of expected roles length 
to see uh, uh, do we have any roles here in this and also I will convert it to boolean here by just adding uh, these uh, exclamation marks two times here and also I'll just uh, uh, add optional chaining here to check do we do we have uh, these expected roles at all uh, forwarded from a projected route? So that's the point. Okay, and uh, the following thing is just to add roles. So I'm also adding roles for users just guessing roles uh, because the thing is that as you will get the authorization uh, or is authorized from the local storage or JVT token, uh, you are also getting uh, these uh, parameters, for example, user roles from there. So uh, we're not going to uh, cover that in this tutorial, but I'll just uh, hard code them. So we'll say that each user, user roles, has a role of employee. Do we have that role actually? No, we have editor. Let's say editor. Okay. And after doing these things, uh, we have to check uh, if uh, roles that we provided here and the roles that user have here, the user has here, sorry, uh, do they match? So if any of these roles, maybe user can have more roles of these, uh, if they match any of these roles here. So to do that, uh, I'm just gonna uh, write a simple code here. Const roles match match and I'm gonna use uh, actually ternary operator to check if we have uh, if the roles are required so just copy this are roles required if they're required we are gonna check expected roles expected roles and I use uh, uh, some method from JavaScript so I'll just open that some method here to show you what I'm actually using and we are just uh, providing uh, here in the code sorry uh, here in the code uh, role so as R and we're gonna say uh, roles index of so we are uh, we are actually trying to check uh, if this if any of these roles uh, is in these uh, roles here so uh, it looks like uh, a bit weird, but it's not when you get a point. So is it uh, greater or equal to uh, zero? So if uh, rules are required, we're going to uh, take this uh, check here. Or there, otherwise, we'll just say true. So that means that uh, the rules matches if they are not expected, so uh, the user can proceed. Uh, the thing is here that these uh, rules index of is actually returning index of this element in this array. So uh, if it's uh, minus one, that means that uh, it is not uh, matched. That it does not match, though, so there is no anything. Uh, if uh, index is from zero to any number above, that means that uh, there are, are this role in this array is uh, at the specific index that we get from here. So that's the check. And uh, right now, uh, we're going to just uh, uh, add uh, if else, actually if statement, if uh, isn't authorized. So we're checking is authorized here. So the first thing is that uh, if user is not authorized, uh, we're going to return it to, to some uh, home route or anything. Or if uh, roles match, does not match actually, roles match, we're going to just return and use navigate from reactor router. And or let's say two. And I'll just add this home uh, route here. And we're going to also use replace method. The, this is just going, oops. That is just going to replace the history of the previous uh, element there. So it's not just pushing in history. So user uh, would be able to click back uh, instead of getting into, let's say, infinite loop of getting back and uh, this redirecting it to home. 
So this is the thing we're going to do right now. And also, after doing all these checks here, if it passes, we're gonna just return this children element or our component. So return children element here. Hit save. And that should be that uh, when it comes to protecting this route. So now we have to check uh, if this actually works. So here about, uh, we cannot access about, you see, but you're just uh, still on the home as we just put the home. Contact page works, but about doesn't work. So uh, we're gonna change the role here or add another role to our user. And let's say this user is also admin. And here, when we click, we see our about us page. Okay. And contact and about us. Uh, if we remove any of these and keep just admin, we're just gonna check this out. About us still works. But if we go to config here and say, okay, we just changed our minds. Uh, we want to protect this route to be accessible just for editor and hit save. We can see just home. We are not able to access this role no more. So this is it actually. Uh, this is a really, really uh, simple implementation of protecting routes. So you're just basically, as you can, see, you could see in the tutorial, uh, wrapping this component uh, in this uh, protected route and doing the things in this protected route. This protected route component can be also expanded, uh, and you could do any things with it. But this is it for now to just uh, fulfill the the uh, need for uh, protecting or creating the private route here. So uh, this code is uh, gonna be able, uh, you'll be able actually to download this code also from GitHub. And I'll put the link in the video description below. And thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe and like it. And see you in the next one. Bye.